lot of people think trafficking is a violent kidnapping scenario, but really it's not. The best traffickers are going to convince you either it was your idea or it's not that big of a deal. There are even boyfriends who traffic out their girlfriends. Hey, we need a favor done, but we don't have money. Can you pay them with sex? One of the tricks that works very well because it seems innocent is, God, you're gorgeous. I would love to pay you for a photo shoot. I just did a podcast on a serial killer that used this exact same method. Christopher Wilder was the beauty queen killer. He would hunt young girls at the mall and promise them that they would be models. That was in the 80s. The methods haven't changed for child predators, just the venue. For those that don't know, I was a crimes against children detective. Part of my duties was to pose online as a 14 year old girl or a 10 year old boy. Grown men would either try to groom or solicit sex for my character. A normal person probably wouldn't think this happened that often. But when I was online, I had to turn myself invisible. It was because the traffic was so heavy. I had to pick out one or two that were the most aggressive. When your kids are online, you're giving the worst of society access to them. Knowing these realities, we use an app called Bark. Bark is a monitoring software that goes on your phone and their phone. Notice the kids version got a one star rating, so you know it works. Bark is more of a parenting filter. It doesn't notify you about every little thing, just the big things. There's a reason why methods from the 80s are still around today, because predators know that they work. With the internet, they're able to talk to other predators to verify what works. I know that because I've read these conversations on their computers when I confiscate them. When I was undercover online, it was not uncommon to get images of Disney characters that were pornographic. This is a form of grooming. There's a link to Bark in my bio, but you may have to go to my Instagram to find it because TikTok doesn't like the link. If you've ever been catfished, think about how easy it would be for a predator to do that to your child.